Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the 35th video for the New Testament Survey Course. This section will be a very brief introduction to the general epistles. This group of New Testament books, they are typically called the general epistles. However, general is not a great term for these books, but it's been used as a common lump together category of all these epistles that are not from Paul. And so I'll still use the term uh, to refer to these books. Now, in terms of the characteristics of the general epistles, they are epistles, just like the other epistles that we've already seen. However, some of them are missing some of the formal features, like an epistle salutation, thanksgiving, or concluding greetings. And we'll discuss this more when we examine the individual books. Now, as I mentioned, the term general epistles has been used in the sense that these books were not written to specific churches, but to a more general audience. But this is not always accurate. It might be true of some books, but I think that they were all written to a specific audience for a specific occasion and purpose, just like Paul's letters were. But for some books, especially because they're missing the salutation and other features, it's more difficult to figure out these particulars. And some of the general epistles seem to be more circular letters to a wider group of churches, but so is Ephesians, probably. So the main thing that puts all these books into the same category is simply that they are all the remaining epistles in the New Testament that were not written by Paul. And unlike Paul's epistles, these get their names mostly from the author, not from the recipients. So now, let's list these epistles and talk about the order in which they appear in the New Testament. They are grouped together by author. That is, all those books by the same author are together. And they're also roughly arranged from the largest to the shortest. And that means the general epistles, they're not necessarily in chronological order. Now, there's one book that's anonymous, and it's named after its recipients, that is, the book of Hebrews, and there's one book written by James and called the book of James, and there are two books from Peter and called First and Second Peter, and there are three books written by John, First John, Second John, and Third John, and there's one book written by Jude and called the book of Jude. And now let's review. The general epistles are New Testament epistles written to a variety of churches and occasions. They're grouped together as the New Testament epistles that were not written by Paul, and they're mostly named after their author. And the names of the general epistles are Hebrews, James, 1 and 2 Peter, 1, 2, and 3 John, and Jude. Well, I told you this would be a short section, and I think I kept my word. In the next few sections, we'll work through all the general epistles one at a time. So the next section, we'll look at the book of Hebrews, and I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for watching.